What matters? Welcome back, everyone. Anchorage's Bird Treatment and Learning Center is well known for helping animals get well and get back into the wild. But recently, they were faced with a very interesting challenge. CBS 11's Lauren Maxwell has the story. Right, it's a peregrine falcon. Now, that's an unusual bird to begin with. This was a young one who somehow got out of his nest before he learned the skills he'd need to make it on his own. This young peregrine falcon came to the Bird Treatment and Learning Center in mid-August. He was found near a fish camp where local children had been feeding him a steady diet of watermelon and tuna fish. And while he didn't have injuries, he definitely had issues. Right, he had some psychological issues. Um, he had been in the fish camp for an unknown period of time and he was kind of getting bonded to the people that were caring for him. He'd never had the opportunity to hunt or even see other peregrines hunt as near as we can tell. So he didn't really know how to be a falcon. What the bird, since named Eddie, needed was a mother to teach him hunting skills. And he found it in this man, longtime falconer Tim Sell. He's actually a real neat little bird. Sell is a volunteer for Bird TLC who took Eddie on as a project fashioning his leather hood and attaching a radio wire to his foot. So that we put a radio on him. As you can see, there's a radio there. And so if he does fly away, I can track him and chase him down. For several weeks, Sell has been taking Eddie to local parks for training flights. Now that's unusual for him to talk like that. Never heard that before. Sell has taught Eddie to take off from the fist and fly free until a whistle gets his attention and brings him back to the dead quail that Cell is swinging from a rope. It's practice for when Eddie will have to catch prey on the move. This is just exercise and it's teaching him how to use his feet too. Because he's a young bird, he doesn't really know how to use his feet. Peregrine falcons are the fastest birds in the world and some have been clocked at more than 250 miles an hour as they swoop towards their prey. Now he's picking up speed. Come on, buddy. Even so, their catch rate is only about one in every ten tries, and that's why good hunting skills are essential. Woo! <laughs> He's going to be beating me pretty soon here. Finally, Eddie makes contact. Sell says Eddie still needs lots of practice, but he's impressed with the bird's natural hunting ability. And he's confident that in a few short months, Eddie will be able to make it on his own. Now, Sell tells us he will be working with Eddie every day throughout the winter until his release sometime this spring. You can count on CBS 11 News to be following his progress, and we will let you know when Eddie is finally flying free. For CBS 11 News, I'm Lauren Maxwell. We will certainly let you know. Great story. 